Colosseum, Rome, a journey through history and timeless wonder. The Colosseum is one of the most famous landmarks in the world, and a visit to Rome wouldn't be complete without seeing it. This massive amphitheater, built almost 2,000 years ago, was once the site of thrilling gladiator battles, wild animal hunts, and grand spectacles. Today it stands as a symbol of ancient Rome's history and power. Whether you're a history buff or just looking to explore a world wonder, here's everything you need to know to plan your trip to the Colosseum. How to get to the Colosseum. The Colosseum is right in the heart of Rome, making it easy to reach. By metro, take line B, the blue line, and hop off at the Colosseo station, right next to the Colosseum. By bus. Several buses pass by, including routes 75, 81, and 673. On foot. If you're exploring central Rome, it's a short walk from other iconic spots like the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill. A Journey Through History The Colosseum was built by Emperor Vespasian around A.D. 72 and completed by his son, Emperor Titus, in A.D. 80. This colossal structure could hold between 50,000 and 80,000 people, all gathering to watch gladiator fights, public spectacles, and even naval battles. Yes, they could fill the arena with water. Even though it has suffered from earthquakes and the test of time, the Colosseum still stands strong as one of the greatest engineering feats of the Roman Empire. Must See Highlights Inside the Colosseum 1. The Arena Floor This is where all the action happened. Gladiator battles, wild animal hunts, and grand spectacles. Imagine the roar of the crowd as you stand on the reconstructed sections of the floor. 2. The Hippodium Beneath the arena lies a maze of tunnels and chambers where animals, gladiators, and stage props were held before the games. You can get a glimpse of what went on behind the scenes. 3. The Spectator Stands the tiered seating area was designed to host thousands, with different sections reserved for various social classes. Climb up the levels for a great view of the entire structure and the city beyond. 4. The Roman Forum and Palatine Hill Your Colosseum ticket includes entry to these nearby ancient ruins, where you can wander through the remains of temples and palaces that were once the heart of Roman public life. Insider Tips for Visitors 1. Get your tickets in advance. The Colosseum is super popular, so book your tickets online ahead of time. Skip the line tickets or guided tours can save you hours of waiting. 2. Beat the crowds. Visit early in the morning or late in the afternoon when it's less crowded. You'll have more space to explore and snap those perfect photos. 3. Take a guided tour. For a deeper dive into the history and architecture, consider a guided tour. Some tours even offer access to exclusive areas like the underground hippodium or the upper tiers. 4. Wear comfortable shoes. There's a lot of walking involved, especially if you're also checking out the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill. Comfortable shoes are a must. Best time to visit. You can visit the Colosseum all year long. But the best times are during spring, April to June, or fall, September to October. The weather is pleasant, and the crowds are a bit thinner. If you visit in summer, prepare for some heat. It's an open-air structure, and Rome gets hot. Being a responsible tourist The Colosseum is an ancient monument, so do your part to help preserve it. Don't touch or climb on the ruins. Dispose of trash properly. Follow the rules posted throughout the site. Fascinating Colosseum Facts It was originally called the Flavian Amphitheater, after the Flavian dynasty of emperors who built it. At one time, the Colosseum could be flooded for mock naval battles. Only about one-third of the original structure remains due to earthquakes and stone robbers. Don't miss these nearby spots. After you've marveled at the Colosseum, check out these other must-see landmarks nearby. The Roman Forum 
Once the political and social heart of Rome, it's filled with the ruins of temples, markets, and public spaces. Palatine Hill. Climb to the top for amazing views of the Roman Forum and ancient imperial palaces. Arch of Constantine. Just outside the Colosseum, this massive arch was built to celebrate Emperor Constantine's victory in 312 A.D. A visit to the Colosseum is like stepping back in time. Standing inside its ancient walls, you can almost hear the crowds cheering and feel the excitement of the gladiators. It's not just a landmark, but a living piece of history. If you're planning a trip to Rome, the Colosseum should be at the top of your must-see list. If you enjoyed this guide and want to see more amazing travel tips, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos and join us on more incredible journeys.